here is your front fork damper tube. This tool here is your damper tube holder. Hey, how's it going? So I just wanted to make a quick video and talk about this tool right here. And the reason being is I am currently installing the YSS fork upgrade kit on my Royal Enfield. And I've watched a bunch of videos and it seems like most people that install the upgrade kit don't actually remove the damper tube from the forks and drill the additional holes in the tube like you're supposed to do. And if you don't drill out the damper tubes, you're basically not getting the benefit of the fork upgrade kit. Now, I think the reason why most people don't remove the damper tubes and drill them out is because it is sort of a pain in the ass to do. You do need this tool right here. And this is a special tool that only has one purpose and it can be expensive. Typically to buy this tool, it costs anywhere from $80 up to $120 just for basically a one use tool. Now, what I did is I did buy the tool, but I bought it because I came across a website that was selling it for a lot cheaper. So most people aren't gonna spend the money to buy this tool. Now you can make your own tool. And so I watched a few videos and saw people who made their own tools. And I'm gonna reference their videos in just a couple minutes here, uh, if you wanna make your own tool. So what I figured I'd do is show you up close what the tool looks like, how it works, and then take some exact measurements of the tool if you wanna make your own. But first, real quickly, I just wanna show you how you take it out and why you wanna take it out and drill the hole. So this is one of the front forks. And if we look here, I, have it, I already have it taken apart. This is the front fork cap. This is called a washer plate. I have the manual, big, thick manual. Uh, this here is the spacer tube. Then we do have another washer, and then we have the main spring here. Now, all these parts, as soon as you unscrew this top cap, all those parts come popping on out. Very easy to take out. Now, the damper tube is a different story. The damper tube is located in the bottom of the fork, right down here, and then is bolted into the bottom. So the way you remove the damper rod is you have to take one of these large Allen keys, slide it into the bottom of the fork, and unscrew it there. Now that sounds easy enough. The problem is that as you unscrew this, there's nothing that holds it in place so it just spins in place. You can't unscrew it. They also put a lot of thread lock on this bolt, which makes it very difficult to take off. Matter of fact, you probably won't be able to do it with a handheld tool. Uh, I had to use an impact wrench in order to get this unscrewed. So as you can see, the problem is this thing spins. So that's where this it's a helicopter. So that's where this special tool, this damper tube holder comes into place. Basically, you slide it down inside the fork and hold the damper rod in place as you unscrew it. So basically, you slide this down inside, it connects to the damper rod like that, then enabling you to then unscrew it. Simple as that. That's all that this thing is for. So it's basically just a long pole with a handle that you can hold on to and that on the end. So not too difficult to fashion one of your own. So what I figured I'd do is I would take this, you can actually unscrew this piece here. So I figured what I'd do is I'd take this off and then do some close up measurements so you can see exactly what size you would need to make in order to fit into the top of the damper tube there so you can hold it in place and unscrew it. So why would you need to do this? Well, if you look at the stock tube, there are two tiny three millimeter holes, one on each side, and that is what controls the damping. So the fork oil flows through those holes and that's what controls the compression. Now, if you're doing the YSS upgrade, you do get this emulator here. So what this emulator does is this now controls the flow and it's adjustable. So you can adjust the size of the holes and this fits right over the end of the damper tube. Now the problem becomes with these tiny little holes, basically this thing is ineffective because this is still controlling the flow of the oil. So what you need to do is take these out and drill in larger holes. And you can see here, I already drilled in the holes there. So in the YSS instructions, they tell you to drill four holes, eight millimeters each, versus just having the two holes, three millimeters each. So once you drill those out, your emulator sits on the end. Now this emulator is what controls the flow of the oil in your forks and providing the improved suspension. So now if we look at this piece here, we can take some measurements of it. 
And so we can see the top of this, this is probably 12 points in there. This is only four. But that's all you need to fit in and hold it like that. And so these four, if we would take some measurements, the width of the square is about 23 millimeters. This is 22.9, so it's 23 millimeters. Uh, if we go at the angle from point to point, now it's 31.3 millimeters. The height, the height, I'm not sure if that really makes too much of a difference. It's about seven millimeters. Uh, it has this little nub in the end just to hold it in place. That's 23. And the width of the actual round part is 34.2, around 34, is around 34 millimeters. And so what you can do is if you find a long pole and then you can fashion something on the end, something simple or a large nut, something just so you can slide it down and hold it in place. Now, as I mentioned, there's a few other YouTube channels I've watched. One channel is called RE Motor Works and he actually does it with a wood dowel. And then he fashioned the end to fit into the damper tube so you could check out his channel. And just as a side note, when I was doing this, I didn't realize the guy from RE Motor Works, John, is actually the same guy who makes and sells the seat release holder that I bought and put on the motorcycle uh, recently and showed in one of my videos. So be sure to check out his channel and he goes through the whole process of how to do it and he goes into more detail about doing some of the adjustments and drilling more holes into the damper tube. Uh, another one is James Slick England. He welded and made his own and with a large nut on the end. If you go to his channel, I think he provides some contact information, one of the descriptions where you can email him and I think he might be able to send it to you if you live in his area. One other guy I saw called Rat Motor Works. Uh, he did it for a Triumph, not a Royal Enfield, but the method he shows looked like you could do something similar where he just took a piece of PVC pipe and shaved the end to fit in place and hold it in place. So there's a lot of things you can do, pretty simple things you can do. All it is is a rod to slide down into your forks and just hold that tube in place. Now, as I mentioned, I am also in the middle of installing the fork upgrade kit. Uh, I'm shooting a video on that too, so if you wanna check that out, be sure to subscribe. I should have that up pretty soon. The problem is when you're making a video about it, it always takes a lot longer to do the job. Uh, so I kind of ran out of daylight here in my garage, so I'm just gonna finish that up tomorrow, edit it and get it out. Now, when it comes to this one, obviously it's basically a one job tool. Uh, I plan on keeping it just in case I do wanna make some changes, but if anybody lives in my area, in the Las Vegas area and wants to borrow it, uh, send me a message and you can come pick it up.